Welcome to the third tutorial in the Lazarus series. We are learning to use Game Maker Studio 2. So far in this tutorial series, you have learnt some new concepts about sprite size and origin and interplating. We have also created the objects that has Lazarus moving left and right and Lazarus being squashed by boxes. In this tutorial, we're going to finish off those movements and also make sure that Lazarus can't jump two boxes high. Okay, now it's time to put all those um, objects together. Now, those objects, the jumping left and right objects, all stem off an action from the standing object. So, given the sprites, the standing object, um, Laz standing. So, basically, when we press right, we want um, Lazarus to react to it. So, in the same way, we press left. So, our key um, press is going to be our event and the key press is going to be right. Now, what we need to do here, we need to see if there's what is to the right of Lazarus. If there is, well, first off, if there's nothing underneath him, like if he's in midair, we don't want him to move at all, we just want him to fall, which is something we do a little later on. So that's the first check we have to do. Now, we're going to check using the um, if any object. So it's this one here, if any object at, and the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether or not there is an object underneath him. Now, a little bit of information, all of our boxes are also 40 by 40 pixels, so that will help us plan this out a bit. So first off, if, is there anything underneath him? So what we're going to do is, well, we're not worried about, worried about X, that's, that's left and right, so below him we want to see just 8 pixels be enough, 8 pixels relative. Is there something underneath him 8 pixels? Radio. So if there's if there's an object underneath him, eight pixels underneath him, then it's right. We can get him to move right. If not, then he'll just continue to fall, which he'll we'll do a little bit later on. So that's our first condition. If there's an object, there's there has to be an object underneath him. So if it passes that object, then we need to check and see is there something to the right of him. Okay. So let's see. Is there an object? So it's going to be over this side here because if it passes this, there's an object underneath him. So then we're going to say, if there's an object to the right of him. So being right, we don't want to worry about the X because the Y, because it's the same level. But we want to check 40, because that's the right of him. And that's both relative. Now, if there is an object to the right of him, we actually, we don't want him, if there's an object to the right of him, we don't want to, we don't want to use this. Okay, so what we actually want to do is to say if there's not an object to the right of him. So there's not an object to the right of him. What we want to do is we actually want to make him jump to the right. So there's not an object there so he can jump to the right. So that means we need to change our instance. Oh, go in here, beautiful. Change the instance into, so you just drag this across, into, um, into object Lazarus right. Okay, so that's the whole thing, he's going to jump to the right if there is nothing to the right of him. Now, if there is something to the right of him, we need to see if there's, oh, there's a box to the right of him. We need to see if there's a box also on top of that. Right, yeah, because if, if there's a box to the right of him, but there's not a box to the right and to negative 40 so to the right and one level up if there's not a box up there as well too then he can do the jump right so that moves him up one layer so let's see change instance here and that is Lazarus jump right okay so that is if there is any object so just let me scroll it down. So there's a couple of things you can observe here. First off, if there's a situation where there is no nothing underneath him, so Lazarus in the middle of the air, he can't move to the right. Even if you're pressing right, he won't move to the right. Um, if if there is an object, if there's no object to the right of him, then you press right and he can just jump right level. Okay. If there is a box to the right of him but there isn't a box above that so he can jump up on top of that box and then but if there's two boxes to the right of him he won't pass to either of these so he'll just stand totally still and not move which is what we want him to do so that's for that one we're going to do a similar one for 
the key press left. Okay, so again, we're going to check if there's an object underneath him. Relative, relative. Actually, I must make sure that I made that much relative. Yes, cool. Um, okay, so relative, relative, and we're checking below him, which will be eight here. All right, and we want to make sure. Yeah, we want to make sure that he there's there is something underneath him. So if there is something underneath him, yes. In that case, we then need to check if beside him is empty. So that would be. No, we're talking about the left now. So that would be negative 40 relative and zero relative. And if there is not something there, then we wanted to change the instance to jump Lazarus left. Not jump left, just left. All right? But if there is an object, if there is an object to the left, you then need to check if there's an object if there's two boxes or just one box. So we check to the left and then also check up one layer. And if that's the case, if there's only one box to him, so there's not a second box at the top up there, then we can make him jump left. Yep. And otherwise he just stays where he is. Right, yeah. So another thing I set up here about both of these, where if if there is nothing underneath him, if there's nothing underneath him, he can't do anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a step event. Now, unlike we've, we've used end step, but this is just step. It's just somewhere in the tick. Doesn't matter where. It doesn't have to be at the end. The step event of um, if there is no objects below him. So again, that's just checking not the relative zero and um, eight is below him. So if there's nothing below him, radio. So if there's nothing below you, um, so there's not something at zero and eight, then you want him to jump to a point. Here it is, which is actually same spot, but eight. Relative, so basically he will just fall down and keep falling. And every step we'll just check that until something actually appears underneath him and then he'll stop falling. Rightio. So that was the Lazarus. That's all set up now. And so we should be ready for our testing because all that ties together. Yep. So there you go, we have a Lazarus ready to do some testing and checking and making sure that he can move left and right and can't jump two boxes too high. And in this tutorial you've learned about the step event and the if any object at action.